This is Kisco, my dog. She's an Alaskan Malamute. She's come, just coming up to eight. Um, I got her from eight. I, I actually got her when she was eight weeks old, but I wasn't allowed to actually have her in the house until she was ten. It's because they vetted your house and things like that. Um, it was a friend of mine um, put me in touch with a rescue uh, centre, and this dog was actually living at the house when I found out about it. Um, because they hadn't actually gone and picked her up. So I went over to look for a Jack Russell and the second time I went over, she was there. So I ended up with her because she picked me. She wouldn't leave me alone. So I never picked the dog because I wanted a Jack Russell. She came up and uh, picked me. Depends if I got a meeting at nine, she'd go out at seven. So she has an hour in the morning. I, I do like to take her out about half past eight if I can. So they take her up to the two parks up by me and she meets her friends then because they normally taking their children to school and they take their dog after so she meets all her, her friends up there and there's three other um, huskies who are quite small and young and she plays with them. Um, I really try to get home sometime in the day. She don't like being left alone so if my wife's home that's fine but my wife can't take her for a walk because she's just too strong. So I try to get home in the afternoon uh, and then she goes out for a walk on a night and what I do is once a week I walk every street in the ward so in the daytime to just check for street signs, any dump rubbish. So I always take her with me. So that's why she's so well known because they see me walk in the same areas um, over a month and they're always asking what's her name and everything. So hello Councillor Bloke and hello Kiska. Weekends is her time if I'm about because we normally go away in the camper van. So, uh, I went away last, not last weekend, a weekend before I went to Barclay Castle for the VW Festival. So she was with me and uh, everybody at the VW Club knows her. So weekends I try to take her away with me. Uh, when the wife's working, she works every other weekend, I always go away with her somewhere. So she has a lot, a lot of exercise, but they're, they're, your, they're, well, they're part of the family. They're so, this, she will walk, if you went to take her for a walk now, she'd gone and she went back an night. But when I go out in the morning, you come home after a long hard day and she comes up, jump on you and running around. But it's also the social side of owning a dog because um, my sister-in-law's got cats. Now she goes over, she's scared of cats because they always be nasty to her. But they've got no, they go out and they can fend for themselves. I mean, if I let her out, she get lost and everything. But it's taken around and people you meet um, people who wouldn't normally stop and speak to you will stop and say hello, love your dog and things like that. And you meet a lot of other dog walkers and you become friends and it's good for your mental health. I, I really believe that anybody with mental health problems should have a, a pet, but obviously I, my is for dogs. But it's also for your physical health because I try to walk her about four or five miles a day at least if I can. So in the morning she'll have three hours. Uh, sorry, three miles, and then she'll have a, at least a mile, mile and a half in the afternoon. And if I've got not on in the evening, she'll have a couple of hours on the evening as well. So it keeps me off, it keeps me happy, and she's like part of the family. That's great. And it also, it brightens up other people's day, because they're always playing, and she does play up to it.